Femi Love, celebrating love, romance, and Eros by Eros Coaching. This is day 11 of Fabu Love. My name is Martha. I'm a sexologist in Singapore. Happy Chinese New Year to all the Chinese out there. So today I would like to recommend you two books actually. Uh, these books are related to relationships, not sex, relationships. And so the first one is very, very famous, bestseller. Everybody knows more or less. Lots of people know about it at least. Uh, it's called Five Love Languages. So basically, it follows the concept that all of us have a primary love language. We have a way that we would feel the most love if our partner were to do it for us. So there are five, a physical touch, quality time, acts of service, gifts, and words of affirmation. So for myself, I'm somebody who's really into physical touch. Uh, if, my, if I want my partner to express love, don't give me gifts, don't need to spend a lot of time with me, just hold me. So that's kind of like the love language of somebody who's physical touch. And the trick here is to realize the way I need to be loved and the way I show love is also the same. So if I'm trying to show love to my partner, I tend to touch him. Even if his love language is not touch, I think that um, it's so good, I, I like it so much, why wouldn't he? So I keep uh, reaching out to him, touching him, and maybe I'm irritating him, catching him at a wrong time because maybe his love language is not phys uh, physical touch. So if you read this book, you begin to understand a lot about yourself and not only that, be able to better understand your partner and from there, be able to have a better relationship, be able to start communicating each other's love language. So I recommend this book. If you're somebody who doesn't like to read, there are lots of book summaries on the internet as well as an online quiz that you could do. So this is kind of like a cheat thing, you know, if you don't really not a reading person and you just want some to understand the concepts very quickly, you can still go online. This book is a bestseller, it's famous. Um, and so you can actually get um, kind of like a, a a quick cheat sheet you know online if, if that's what you desire so this is the first one that I have for you today the second one is called his needs her needs so over here it's uh, it's by this um, doctor who is basically a psychologist and he was working with lots of couples who were breaking up and not being able to um, continue in the relationship because the initial uh, flames of passion died down. So in his study, he basically studied hundreds of couples and from there came out with understanding what are the five top needs of a man and five top needs of a woman. And I've had some people criticize his book saying that, oh, this is just stereotyping, this is just generalization. Whatever it is, read this and form your own opinions. If you can get some value out of it, why not? Right? So don't let all that... Um, Maybe it is um, misconceptions, maybe it is stereotyping, but a lot of the stereotyping and generalizations, uh, for me, I feel it tends to be quite true uh, because we live in this society and we somehow conditioned by the way we're brought up. So this one really rings true for me in a lot of ways. And it's definitely something that is great for couples to read together and then discuss whether they agree or disagree. So just like with anything, right, you take what value you can out of it. So don't take everything so literal and it can be a good platform from which to develop your own ideas and concepts about sex and relationships. So this book, His Needs, Her Needs, and uh, this other book I have, Five Love Languages. Fabby Love, celebrating love, romance, and Eros by Eros Coaching.